Okay, this book is called From Frog to Toad. So frogs are amphibians and um, from tadpole to frog, sorry. From tadpole to frog and frogs are amphibians. And we talked about how their babies yesterday look nothing like what they do when they're grown up. They are called tadpoles and they kind of look like fish. So we're gonna see how they grow from tadpole to frog. This is by Wendy Pfeffer, illustrated by Holly Keller. From tadpole to frog. This is the frog pond, but where are the frogs? When winter winds whistle, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. Remember hibernate, we talked about this beginning of the year, hibernate is when they sleep all winter long. So they sleep under at the bottom of the pond in the mud. After the ice melts, flowers appear, birds return and pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night you hear ba ra room ba ra room ba ra room. The males are calling to their mates. So it's spring and the frogs are out from underneath the pond now. They're in the water. Oh, I see some turtles. Turtles are reptiles, remember? And frogs are amphibians. The females hear the call. The male hugs his mate. She fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft jelly-covered eggs cling together in the cool water. In about 10 days, the eggs hatch. The pond becomes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills, just like fish. So there's the baby tadpoles. See all those tadpoles coming out of those eggs? During the summer, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants, but water beetles, snakes, and birds are eating too, and they're eating the tasty tadpoles. So the tadpoles eat the plants, but then there's birds and other bugs that like to eat the tadpoles. When fall comes, look carefully at the water. Are there any tadpoles left? They look like leaves. Look here. Are the tadpoles or are they wet leaves? They're brownish speckled tadpoles. Hundreds of them float by with the brownish speckled leaves. Eating and swimming, swimming and eating, the tadpoles grow fat. When winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat, they do not move, they just sleep. So the tadpoles, they're born in the spring, they eat all summer, through fall, and then the winter they go down and they hibernate in the pond just like their parents did. When spring sunshine warms, the tadpoles world, they awake hungry. So they swim and eat, eat and swim, and tiny hind legs begin to sprout. They grow longer and stronger while the tail grows shorter. So look, can you see that? They still have their tail, but they only have their hind legs, their back legs. They don't have their front legs yet. Tiny front legs begin to show. The tadpoles look like long-tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change more. Lungs develop and more. Mouths and eyes grow larger and more until they become frogs. When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles. Now they use their strong legs and webbed feet to swim instead of their tails. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap onto land. The frogs stick out their long sticky tongues and capture worms, spiders, and dragonflies. Now, where are the frogs? Do you see them hiding in the leaves? Slowly the days grow colder, winter winds blow, birds fly south. Once again, the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now? Remember, they hibernate in the mud. So they're down in the mud to start all over again. So today I want you to tell me how frogs grow. So remember they start as little jelly eggs, then out comes a little tadpole that looks kind of like a fish, and then they grow their back legs, then their front legs, and then their tail grows all the way so short till it disappears, and then they're a frog. So draw me a picture and tell me about how a frog grows. See you next time.